much. I really appreciate the picture that uh, our Bulgarian colleagues showed on the, the DNA strand. That should really become one of the pictures I think the one, one MG could take up. Uh, Bell, uh, so uh, the next slide you can give already. Uh, I will focus on how we install the mirror group uh, in Belgium and our experience with that. Uh, we are going to an exercise on mapping more in detail what is going on uh, with, let's say, whole genome sequencing. And maybe we could make it larger uh, together with all the partners in the, in the mirror group. But Belgium uh, endorsed the initiative uh, somewhat late, I would say, but by mid 2020, it was finally agreed that we officially uh, would join. And uh, as many know, Belgium is a little bit complex in, in construction. Uh, health is mainly a responsibility of the federal state, and that is I'm presenting, I representing uh, the health part. Research is more dedicated to or more the responsibility of the regions, and we have uh, the regions installed the rotational uh, structure with two representatives, uh, Kathleen Dont and uh, Sophie Peterburg. We, uh, from the start, envisaged to uh, support both the One Million Genomes initiative that is run by the commission, but also participate as much as possible uh, to uh, support the B1MG uh, project. Um, so now, where are we with the Belgian Mirror Group? So we opened the whole initiative by uh, setting up an info session uh, the 24th of November last year. And then at, this, at that session, we said there would be a survey run for expression of interest of, to anybody who wants to participate in this uh, mirror group. Um, and by the end of January, we had some uh, 50, uh, 56 uh, people that did indicated that they were interested. Uh, then, of course, you have to start to define uh, the leads uh, in all the work, uh, working groups that we established and also a co-lead. Now, I must say in Belgium, there are a number of projects already being run or ongoing on uh, putting genomics into our healthcare system or into the research world. One of the initiatives that is ongoing and that definitely at a certain point we have to uh, in integrate is uh, where can be genomics interesting in uh, population health that is run, run uh, at our Superior Health Council. The open day, we try to invite already some representatives uh, of the Belgium, let's say, genomics world. But we were very happy that the Commission and Serena Scollon were willing to present uh, the, the both initiatives. Our director at Sinsano, he has a strong uh, interest in uh, the ethics and the societal impact of uh, genomics and the, the risks and the benefits. Uh, my direct director uh, on public health has a very strong interest in population aspects and genomics. And then we asked some uh, experts, uh, both from the cancer world, Dieter Lambrechts, and from the rare diseases, uh, Frieda de Baer, to explain a little bit where we were and where we think we would go in Belgium with uh, the whole genome sequencing in the future. And then somebody from the Superior Health, Health Council to explain what could be the role of that uh, body in the whole project. Uh, so we had up till now 56 people that are participating in the mirror group. And there's a broad rep representation from academy, from universities, from the health professional world, but also some people from the governments. Uh, and we have for all the topics, at least uh, one or two or three or even more uh, persons. Uh, I listed all the initiatives that we are trying to uh, establish. Uh, there is um, interaction both with the One Million Genomes Initiative from the Commission and the B1MG. And uh, we are now uh, really focusing a little bit more on, on trying to develop use cases and, and trying to get some action into, in, into this project. Um, how we work, so we have chairs and co-chairs. These people are responsible for organizing the, working, the work in their work package and are also responsible to interact with the initiative. And with the use cases, we strongly try to make interactions with all the initiatives. So there's many are aware that there is the Europe's Beating Cancer Program, but a plan and also the mission on cancer where there is definitely opportunities for introducing genomics. Uh, there is a lot of activity in the digital uh, uh, 
world. So in the European health data space, uh, often uh, cancer, for example, is taken as a use case. So there is interactions possible there. Uh, also in uh, the rare diseases uh, and also the rare cancers, there are a number of European reference uh, labor uh, networks established. So we, we need to be uh, in contact with them. And then of course the COVID crisis has, uh, let's say forced us a little bit to take up that case as a specific case also. The role of the chairs and the, uh, and the uh, co-chairs is to really uh, represent our mirror group at uh, either 1MG or the B1MG. Uh, they should also organize these sessions in the working groups. And they also should make sure that there is a flow from all the documents that are being produced and all the, the recommendations that are being produced in these initiatives, bring it back to the mirror group and then also have comments on that and transferring it back to the respective responsibles in the initiatives. But then of course, uh, that's all very nice for the support to the B1MG and the One Million Genome Initiative, but at a certain moment, you want to really do something for concretely in your country. Uh, and it's been said already several times that uh, you need political support of that. So this is one of the things that uh, we are now going to take up with the Mirror Group is to really uh, gain political support for uh, the, the, the initiative of how do we in Belgium are going to deal with genomics uh, in our society. Okay, uh, there is a website under construction, uh, under construction, and I, uh, it's fully my my lack of time that this is not operational yet. But I I, I really intend to work on it by the end of this month. Uh, so the next step, so we have a plenary session with the whole um, mirror group every month. It's a fixed day. Um, we have the, the work package have regular me meetings, and there is interfacing with the initiatives. Now, one of the things that came up. Uh, at the last plenary is that it would be good that, uh, first of all, we communicate once to uh, the initiatives what exactly is available as information in Belgium. There is some information already shared, but there is a lot more apparently. So people are now starting to gather that. And then uh, from discussions, both from Kathleen, Sophia, and myself with our respective authorities, there is definitely the need to, to make some kind of a note that overarcs a little bit what, what do we really want to do um, and what do we need? Uh, because at a certain moment, of course, you need a uh, budget uh, and they would like to know as this initiative is run both by health and by research, uh, there needs to be, and in Belgium, it's also a division federal, federal regional. We need to come up with some uh, discussions on how we could finance and how we could organize this, uh, this initiative in the most efficient way. Uh, that's the end. Ah, no, okay. So I listed here uh, a first set of things that uh, are ongoing. This is definitely not complete, but we have a lot of uh, activities being doing on the ethical and legal concerns uh, that uh, arise around using genomics, uh, basically using genomics information for certain purposes. So we had citizen discussion, discussions with citizens. We had a DNA online, we had focus groups with particular um, patient groups. Uh, and this is now all more or less, let's say, finalized, uh, although it's a continuous discussion. Uh, and we would like now to, 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 to establish what, what is the framework we are going to work. Do we need legal framework? Do we need another kind of framework? So this is an, uh, a step that is continuously and it's very important for our government to support it. The governance structure, we have some governance. One minute. Yeah, okay. We have uh, some governance structures already in place, but we may have to extend or modify a little bit to the needs. There's a lot of uh, activities on, on quality, data quality. We have plenty of commissions that support these things. We have colleges. We have, a, 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 let's say, a body that is dealing with the technical aspects of personalized medicine, um, basically the next generation sequencing activities. Our accreditation system is involved. And Sensano is taking out the quality of the work. We have infrastructures, but maybe not really integrated. So we have to work on that. And there is, uh, let's say, processes uh, in place how to implement this genomics into uh, our healthcare system. We have experience with roadbooks. We have experience with pilots. So this is all to be concluded. And I think the use cases will basically be the driver now of um, of bringing this initiative uh, really into uh, our society. So 
I think this is an initiative that we launched. First step next for Belgium is to get political support. Uh, and then in the meantime, we start preparing, uh, a, let's say, a first draft of a genomics, uh, let, a genomics in health and, and research uh, for Belgium. Thank you very much.